Good afternoon. It is a pleasure to be here uh, in downtown Bayshore in the great town of Islip. And I want to thank uh, Supervisor Angie Carpenter for uh, hosting us uh, here today and for the great work that is happening here. Uh, here in downtown Bayshore under her leadership, um, we have some amazing things happening. And I think Bayshore has really uh, been for a number of years uh, a leader in uh, what we need to be doing in our region in terms of downtown revitalization. And the supervisor has been at the forefront of that, uh, not only as town supervisor, but also as a county legislator uh, and a public official for a, a number of years. This downtown revitalization uh, effort here in Bayshore has really uh, led the way in, in, in many ways. And that progress uh, that we have seen here is continuing. You know, our, our focus in the county is supporting uh, the things that are necessary for us to retain and attract young people to our region. Uh, that is critical for us reaching our economic potential here. Uh, and when you, when you see a, a great downtown like this uh, flourishing, where you have uh, the, the leadership here that is making the right decisions to help expand the tax base to provide the kind of housing that's necessary for young people, to uh, help the small business uh, community by expanding their customer base in the downtown. Uh, we're doing all the elements, building next to, adjacent to transportation. You do, you're putting together all the elements that are necessary for us uh, in this region to reach our economic potential. And an essential ingredient in that effort is leadership. Uh, and I want to compliment Supervisor Carpenter for uh, the work that she has done here uh, in this effort in downtown revitalization here in Bayshore. And in Suffolk County, we are working to support uh, these great efforts. Uh, and that includes a project that is of great importance here, uh, the Bayway Corridor Project. And this is a really significant project because it's helping to link two of our major transportation assets in the region and of course in, in this downtown and the town of Islip, uh, the uh, Bayshore train station and the Fire Island ferries at the end of Maple Avenue. So this Bayway corridor project that the town of Islip has launched uh, is a critical project that is linking up these major transportation assets and supporting the great downtown revitalization efforts that are happening here in Bayshore, where you're expanding pedestrian ac access, cyclists uh, who can take the train and be able to access uh, the Fire Island ferries and vice versa. And of course, be able to go into the downtown, into the restaurants and the shops and uh, do all of those things that uh, people love to do, particularly uh, all people, particularly the young people that we need to attract here. So I, I want to thank the supervisor. I want to recognize uh, their uh, traffic engineer, Dave Lopez, and also with us from Discover Long Island, Maggie Lacasse, uh, who I know uh, they have been leaders in working to support efforts like this and promoting tourism. And what a way to do that uh, than uh, help support a project that's linking up the Bayshore train station and our Fire Island uh, ferries, promoting everything we love about the summers here, uh, and that is great about our, our community. So uh, I'm very proud to be here today with my uh, colleague uh, in government, uh, Supervisor Angie Carpenter in the town of Islip, uh, to provide jumpstart funding of $500,000 to sign into a law that will support the Bayway Corridor project, uh, that will support the downtown revitalization efforts that are ongoing here under the leadership of Supervisor Carpenter, uh, and uh, to provide uh, our ongoing support to the great things happening here uh, in the town of Islip. And with that, I want to turn it over to our uh, partner in government here, our supervisor, Angie Carpenter. Supervisor. Thank you so much, County Executive Ballone. Um, you know, <laughs> Steve mentioned the fact that uh, I've been involved a while, <laughs> and I'm glad that he did, because I think it's a lesson that we all have to remember that these kinds of efforts don't happen overnight. Right. As much as everyone wants everything to happen right away, it doesn't. And my history with Bayshore, the downtown, goes back when I first joined the legislature 
and that is well over 20 years ago. And it is something I work closely with the Chamber of Commerce. At the time, there was a merchants committee. Now there's also a restaurant group. But stakeholders in the community coming together, the Summit Council, the school was very involved in every single community group meeting on a monthly basis trying to address the issues of the downtown particularly. And some of these lovely uh, apartments and townhouses that you see, if you travel down Mechanicsville, down Gibson, you're going to see homes that weren't there 20 years ago. And what happened, and it all goes to what I know the county executive has been espousing for a long time, and that's transit-oriented development. And as we stand here, one of Suffolk's transit's finest buses is going by. Uh, but this truly is a hub. And to behind us, we have the train station. In front of us, we have the Great South Bay. And this Bayway Corridor project is connecting those so very, very well with the bike paths and newly paved roads. The reaction from the community has been extraordinarily positive. You know, the town has sought grant funding for continued improvements to the downtown Bayshore area after the completion of the Bayway Corridor project. And this additional funding will allow for infrastructure upgrades above and beyond the scope of the Bayway Corridor project, including uh, paving, ADA compliant sidewalks, ramps, decorative pedestrian lighting, traffic calming implementation, and pedestrian safety improvements. And the expansion of these infrastructure upgrades would coincide with the planned and continued residential and commercial development throughout the downtown Bayshore area. You know, this is an incredible hamlet, this downtown Bayshore. There's such a sense of community pride as there are with hamlets across this great county of ours. But I see so many young people wanting to come back to where they grew up, continue putting their roots down here and raising their families there. And so many of these projects that have been approved, built, and many more on the books to be approved and built are going to see those dreams come true. And Bayshore truly is one of those walkable communities that we all aspire to. So I want to thank the county, the Jumpstart program, their confidence in what we have done here in the hamlet of Bayshore. And uh, I want to thank our community partners, certainly the Chamber of Commerce, um, the restaurant group, and everyone, and certainly the businesses in downtown Bayshore. Uh, and everything that is going on in this wonderful hamlet of Bayshore. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the efforts of our Commissioner of uh, Public Works, Tom Owens, and his incredible staff. Peter Klutschko was not able to be here today, but David Lopez, who is our traffic engineer, who does an incredible job. They care so much about this hamlet, and it's really, really starting to show. So, County Executive, I thank you very much. Thank you, Supervisor. You're welcome. And truly... Um, a, a tremendous job here, and I think the supervisor hit the nail on the head when she talked about how are you <laughs> when she when she talked about the fact that you know if you want to do things of significance, you know you have to think beyond uh, you know a two year election cycle or a four year election cycle things that really matter that are going to change our communities for the better that are going to help our communities prosper they take a long time. And thankfully, we've had somebody like Supervisor Carpenter, who is somebody who thinks the long term and who's committed to doing significant things. Uh, that is, believe me, more than half the battle in all this. And that's why uh, it's easy uh, for the county to be in a position to partner uh, when you're seeing leadership like this at the local level that is driving forward projects of, of significance, not only for the local community, but that are projects of regional significance that are going to help make things better for every family and every community in our county. So, Supervisor, congratulations to you, and uh, it's okay with you. We're going to sign the bill now. Sounds good to <laughs> okay. me. Okay.